Hello and welcome to EGW Writing's Tech Tips. I'm your host, Daryl Thompson. Thank you for joining us today in another of our series on learning how to use the EGW Writing's website. Now, this is a brand new website that we brought out just a short while ago, and I'm building up these tutorials to teach you the best methods of how to use it. And today, we're going to take a look at website navigation. In the normal websites that you visit, you're probably quite familiar with the forward and back navigations, you know, to go to the first page or the second page and then navigate back to the first page again using the, the back browser button. So that's the basic navigation on a website. But in our site, we actually have three methods of navigating, say, to a book or to a collection. And I'm going to, the best way to actually talk about it is probably mentioned that it's search, the tiles, and the tree. So let's look here at the website in front of me. I have it open. And let me go through the first one, which is search. At the very top up here, you can see that we have here a search bar. And if I type in DA and then press enter, you notice it navigates directly to the book. We're right there, Desire of Ages, right in front of us, opened it straight up. Now, if I want to directly navigate to a page within Desire of Ages, that's pretty easy. So if I want to go to, say, Desire of Ages, page 440, I type DA space 440, I hit enter, and right, I am there, paragraph one. And if I want to navigate to a specific paragraph in a book, I could go like 44.3, and it will take me down to page 440 in Desire of Ages, Paragraph 3. Now, that's one method, navigating via search. If you do not know the book codes, that's not a problem. Let's say I want to go to uh, Acts of the Apostles. I could type Acts of the Apostles and hit enter, and it takes me there. So if I know the title of the book, I can navigate there. Now, if I don't know, let's say that I, I'm trying to look for a book. I know it starts with the word councils, uh, but I don't know the rest of the, the, the title. So I could just type in here councils. Now, what it will do, it will pass over to the tree here all the book titles, and there are actually 15 that use the word councils in it. And then you can scroll down. Ah, this is the one that I want. And there I go. I found councils on diets and foods. So then I'm using a combination of search and the tree to find the book that I want. So that's the search method of navigating to books, either through the book code or book title. The another method that we have, and if you want to go back to the main menu each time, you just click on the little tiny EGW Writings logo in the top left hand corner. I'll just close the search plus here and close the tree so we're back to our standard home screen. So you can see in front of me here that I'm back at the main menu. And if I want to use these tiles to navigate to a particular area, let's say I go to all collections and I open it up. I choose my language and I'll choose English. I want to go to a book in EGW Writing. So I go to the EGW Writings collection. And then I want to go to a book. I open up the books and then right here, I'm now on the book shelf that has all 120 books listed. So that is, I can use that method of navigating in through the tiles on the bookshelf. If I want to, on this level, filter down to say a book starting with the letter S, I can do the little quick look up here, click on the S, and then it filters out all the books and just have you know the letter S. So if I wanna to go to Steps to Christ down here, I can click on Steps to Christ, and I've opened it up. So I've navigated using the bookshelf tile selections. Now there is a third way that I mentioned before, and that is through the crumb trail. Now I could come back here, here up to the top in the search. I could navigate, say, to the book education. All right. And I've opened up the book education when I hit search. Okay. But then I say, well, I want to jump back to my previous book. I can navigate, like I said, in the front by clicking the back arrow and I can go back to Steps to Christ or I can jump forward and go to Education. So I can use my navigation to go backwards and forwards here. That's your quickest method. 
There is another method which you can use, and this is right here, what we call the crumb trail. So you can see underneath the title, this will list all the different collections. This lists the language. This lists the major collections of EGW Writings Reference and Bible. This is all the different collections underneath the EGW Writings Books menu. So you've got books, devotionals, periodicals, pamphlets, etc. And then this lists the titles of all of those book selections. So I could navigate around to a different book, like back into the Great Controversy, by navigating through the Crumb Trail. Okay, and then I can open up a book and I am here. So that's using the Crumb Trail. Or in combination, I can scroll back over in the tree and jump around to another book like Christ Object Lessons and I can click on it in, in the uh, tree here and then update. So as you can see, we've got search, you've got crumb trail, you've got tree, and then you've got the tiles. So that's the basic way of moving around through the website. And then of course, as I mentioned right at the beginning, you have your history and you can track back through the browser history, back through where you went and navigated. So I call it like three main areas, but there are five methods. Okay, and there are combinations in between. Hopefully, I've explained enough of the three core methods of navigating. I, I prefer to just type in the book code or the book title and go straight to it. That's my, my preferred method. Other people might want to navigate through the first time when you're not sure of the different titles that we have available. It's nice to navigate through the tile and bookshelf layout because then you see the covers and you can see a listing of all the book titles and their covers. And that is a, you know, a good learning first method. But once you get used to the titles and using the site, using search is probably the quickest way to navigate around. Okay, well, there we go. There's our little introduction to EGW Writing's navigation. Thanks for joining us today. Bye for now. <music>